Kel, I think I got something here. It could be edible. Let's see. It's... It's... Freddy, my goldfish? <laughs> it's the one we froze till they found a cure for whatever was killing him. Bud, you were only five then, so we didn't tell you, but, um... What was killing him was that we didn't feed him. <laughs> oh, Freddy. Dibs on the head. I get the head. He was my pet. Yeah, well, I was the one who didn't feed him. <laughs> Oops. Well, let's just fry him up and we'll say, next time I get a pet, you can let him starve to death. Deal. <laughs> Kill, I can't. I mean, I just can't eat Freddy. He lived in my room. So does Fungus. Where do you draw the line? <laughs> At a fish I was proud to call my friend. Hey, let's go outside and throw him in the front of a car. Maybe we can get some insurance money. <laughs> oh, cool. I'm glad they're gone. They were depressing me, Al. <laughs> So, honey, there is no way you're not taking me to this reunion. This year, they're going to elect a queen for the reunion. Now, I gave up being queen of our prom for you. Don't you think it's time you gave up something for me? Well, I guess a little thing like my life is meaningless, huh? <laughs> oh, honey, I never wanted your life. I just took it because it was there. <laughs> being a reunion queen is important to me, and I just know I can win. The only competition I have to worry about is that Connie Bender. Yeah, Connie Bender. I remember her. What do you remember, Al? I remember her father had a great coat. <laughs> I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to make me mad at you, so I'll tell you to stay home. Well, it didn't work at our wedding, and it's not going to work now. You know, it's amazing. A million cars on the road, and you toss Freddy in front of an uninsured motorist. <laughs> well, Kelly, if you'd just gotten in the car like the man asked, we would've had 50 bucks. <laughs> well, let's just go upstairs and check the webs for spiders. Yeah, well, just don't give me any of that, don't eat ham, it's Stanley, because if it moves, it's dinner. <laughs> Well, it's obvious the kids have upstairs covered. What's my dinner, Peg? Furnace scrapings du jour? Don't I do enough as wife and mother? Al, your dog burst into our house and then hid under our bed. He does that every day around supper time. Quite frankly, he needs a bath and he won't listen to a word I say. <laughs> doggy see, doggy do. Oh, that is such a beautiful dress. I just saw it on Michigan Avenue. But my husband didn't think we could afford it. See, Steve? Al doesn't mind spending $500 on his wife. Is that what I spent on you, Pookie? <laughs> Gee, I guess I really do love you. We're broke, you know that, Peg. Oh, Al, what difference does it make? Another month in debtor's prison? I'm gonna be reunion queen. <gasps> That's so exciting. But if you're going to be queen, you can't just go in a $500 dress. You have to accessorize properly. We could get you a beautiful beaded evening purse if you'd be willing to bounce a check for another $200. <laughs> Would you mind, honey? <laughs> so, well, what are you up for? The coveted cartwheeling to the grave award? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, everybody, let me put this as plainly as I can. I rule this house. I pay for it. I rot within its walls. And I make the decisions. And my decision is, save that dress for my funeral. Because we're not, no chance, no way, no how, going to that reunion. And you're going to have to buy some shoes. <laughs> oh, Peggy Queen, I'm so happy for you. So, what will you be wearing, Al? The royal leash? 